Hello everyone and welcome back to Fantasy Kingdom, finally! I know it's been a while, I have been super busy lately with this, that and the other and we haven't really been in the game much but I have worked on the hotel which was quite a big job for the park and that's finally complete. So what we're going for in this build is what I called the Renaissance Hotel. It's a five star luxury hotel resort with a pool. Um, I just think it would work quite well in a Disney-esque style park. It's the sort of thing that they would probably go for. I at first had in mind the idea of a hotel where the monorail goes through the middle, comes out the other side, um, like the contemporary um, hotel at Disney World Resort just uh, outside the Magic Kingdom but I decided to have the monorail go in and out of the same uh, entrances I mean it's not very realistic but it just worked for the design of the hotel because what we went for in the end was a rounded shaped um, building which is sort of based on a cruise liner ship almost like you know when you see these fancy hotels that are shaped kind of like a cruise liner that's what we were going for um, and for my sins as well because doing the rounded end using Freedom 2k was hard work to say the least um, can't say I'll be using too much of that mod in the future because I just struggled to use it I mean I, I probably could sort of look into it more and learn how to get good at doing it but I felt like I was just placing a lot of things off grid things just don't quite snap the way you want them to and stuff like that so um, yeah but really I wanted to play around properly with it and see see what I could do and the end result here is pretty good um, we get something that I'd say I'm fairly happy with um, it's not my favourite hotel I've ever built to be honest um, but like I say, it could fit in nicely in, in one of these sort of resorts, in one of these sort of uh, theme park resorts in real life. Um, so what we went for was a very sort of almost minimalist, minimalistic, um, modern sort of feel to it. With the black curtains in every room, the balconies with the glass sort of uh, edges to them, barriers I guess. Um, the some Some of the rooms at the top will be sort of your luxury penthouse rooms with sun beds on the balconies and things like that everything just uh, plain white and, and black um, very like I say modern very contemporary um, and that sort of works quite well with the cruise ship feel we go for almost as well and then I do end up adding a pool in later on as well um, this is where I start working on the rounded section and to be honest at this point it wasn't too bad um, it was just a fair amount of playing about with Freedom 2k to get things to go the way I wanted and then copy paste with a blueprint uh, function and it all worked out quite nicely where the problem uh, lies with this is when I tried to duplicate it and put it round to the other side because the, ga the, the game was having none of it. The blueprint system does frustrate me sometimes because you can only place it on a one piece grid size and sometimes it just won't go in the right place. Um, I wish there was a way that you could sort of use out and to and out and you know the number keys like you would to place any other piece with the blueprints because then we could literally just place blueprints exactly where we want um, but instead I had to rebuild the whole thing again so I did that on different sessions because there was no way I was sitting there and doing all that at the same time because <laughs> like I say the pieces that don't snap to grid is, is very intricate work to, to get them all together and you know I've seen some architect builders and creators and stuff that are really really excellent with this mod um, but yeah I just don't think that's me I haven't really got the patience for it to be honest um, even without using the mod you can still make things look off grid in this game if you uh, really put your mind to it anyway so yeah it's not to say that I won't use it in future but 
I think I'd have to play about with it a lot more, not in a build, if you know what I mean, just to get the idea of of how to use it a bit better. Maybe watch the tutorials and stuff. But yeah, like I say, all in all, it came together pretty well. Uh, got everything looking how I wanted. The blueprint tool did help, to be fair, because like you can see, I only had to build one level and then just copy it down. These, uh, whether it would really work like this for a hotel with these suites on the on the corner, it sort of all had to be one room. Um, so again, that would be one of your more luxury suites that you pay more for, because you get a lot more space and a lot more balcony space and stuff. Um, I'm just picturing a really funky room with a hot tub and stuff like that. Something like a hard rock hotel would have maybe. Um, and yeah, it's obviously I'm not doing interiors or anything like that because you're not going to be able to see them in the game and there's already way too many pieces in this park. Um, but that's not a problem, it's still running and we're nearly at the end of the series anyway. Um, what I think we will do after this one is one more episode of building just to complete anything in the park that needs doing. Um, in fact, I say that I've, I've already started on the next episode, which is good news because hopefully it means it won't take so long to get up onto YouTube. Um, I'm building a restaurant in the sort of extra space that we've got left in the park just so that everything's filled in and then I'm going to fill in any other little spaces do any other little details that need doing either on that video or off camera if I think of anything um, when I sort of have a look back over the park and decide whether it's ready to, to showcase in full or not so here we're working on the entrance um, building I guess foyer sort of thing for the hotel um, and I just had something in my mind where I wanted like a blue roof and it worked really well with these pavilions uh, once I get everything in place here it comes together quite nicely and then we just build some pathing outside and stuff so that's where you'd be dropped off by the coach or the transfer or whatever um, and then through the back you can make your way into the back gate entrance of the park if you want and skip the front entrance queues if you're staying here just sort of like one of the perks that, that they'd give you for for staying at the hotel which is owned by the park as well um, we do build a road system in front of this hotel as well later in the episode and then I realize it's an absolute pain in the bum I can't connect it to the main road at the moment or to the main entrance of the park because it's not owned by the park so I really don't know what that means um, I tried to use the cheat mod to build outside of the park grounds um, and the mod just kept crashing and I don't want to fiddle about with that too much in case it completely crashes the park or does something crazy I have had problems with that mod in the past so um, I need to find some other way of linking up the road systems and basically it's got to be some way that I can build off um, outside the park bounds whether I can build over or under it I don't think so because it's yeah I'm not sure I'll look into it but um, we'll find a way anyway we'll find a way maybe I'll have to go back into scenario editor again I don't know if you can do that but yeah, if not, I'll just have to hide it or cover it up some way, but we'll make it work. I'll probably also need a car park for this hotel, um, but I haven't really left myself a lot of space for that, so it might have a car park, which is way too small for the amount of rooms. Um, but again, we're going for aesthetics over realism, to be honest with this one. I haven't really done a lot of backstage area for the hotel either, but I think that's fine. I don't think it really needs it. So you can see the pools going in here, it's pretty much complete, just using the stuff from the Resort Detect mod, which is obviously perfect for, for building something like this. Um, very basic pool, just sort of slightly rounded edges with the steps going down. 
this would be quite a shallow pool so that it's good for for families with their kids and stuff um, we end up putting in some sun lounges as well around the pool just to decorate it nicely and I think this looks a lot better at night as well this build which is why um, I've done the thumbnail in such a way just trying out some of the different palm trees as well here um, for a bit of variation give it that sort of tropical feel as well um, and yeah that's that's pretty much all I build really now it's just a case of um, this is when I went back and duplicated the rounded section of the hotel like I say this was horrendous it's not even completely symmetrical um, I think but it's as good as I'm gonna get it and you can't really tell especially if you zoomed out it looks fairly good it looks fairly spot on so yeah all in all I'm fairly happy with the way uh, the hotel came together and I'm ecstatic with the way the park comes together and the fact that it's nearly over is as much as I've enjoyed doing this series it's been a big job and this year I haven't really had that much time to work on it um, amongst the other sort of projects that I've been doing and just life in general at the moment is very hectic it's you know it's summer everything's open back up again like normal so starting to get out there as well been to a few theme parks but been doing loads of stuff this summer so yeah I do think we'll be able to complete this um, project fairly soon anyway so that is great news although it still feels like there's a lot to do but it's just finishing touches so that will all be in the next episode enjoy the rest of the time lapse for this one and the cinematic at the end and i'll see you all in the next one thank you for watching bye bye